Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about string data type. You know very well what is a data type. Data type is nothing but it is an attribute that tells what kind of a data that a variable or a value can have it. Then we have five types of data type. We already completed numbers data type. Now we will start string data type. What is a string? It is the sequence of characters. A string can be represented by either a single quotation marks or double quotation marks. Sometimes we can also use triple quotes. Mostly used to represent the multi-line string and doc string. We will see that with an example. Before that one important note, Python doesn't have a separate data type for characters. Characters means single letter. Usually in other programming language we will have a separate data type for that but in python both the character and string falls under the same category. How to create a string? First we will represent using the single quote variable name it can be any variable name variable name as single quote and within the single quote python string then printed. This is a variable name assigning a value. This is how we will create the string using the single quote. I will execute and show it is printing the value. The next way is to using the double quote. So within the double quote you can give the value just printed it is printing and I already said we can use the triple quote that can be used for multi lines triple quote equal to within this you can mention the string welcome to Vinod Ratinam. I am just entering it then tutorials then print it just run it you can see when we mention it in the triple code the exact format it is printing it the conclusion is we can create a string using single code double code and triple code mostly i'll be using double code for creating the string sometimes programmer uses the single code to mention the character hope you understood how to create a string now we will see how to access the values inside the string we can access the individual character using the index value. Always remember if someone says index means it is always starts from zero. This is like a Newton's law in all the programming language. Index means it starts from zero from left to the right direction. Now we will see with an example. We created a string my string variable name and a value. How the index happen is for example I am taking hello is a string the index starts with 0 from left to right h will have index value 0 e will have 1 l will have 2 l will have 3 and o will have 4 the same rule it starts with 0 we'll try to access it print my string within the square bracket you have to mention the index value if i mention 0 you know very well it will display p because it starts from 0 this is the one way to access the value now I am going to slice it from 11th to 18th character nothing but this machine if you count 0 1 2 3 4 5 space also you have to count 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 will be M 18 will be E how to take this particular value very easy print my string within the square bracket with the help of colon you have to mention what is the starting index what is an ending index starting index is 11 and the ending index is 18 run it just displayed the value mission this is how most of the programmers uses to take any particular value from a string in addition to this we have few more ways we can access the value I'm just directly showing you the code. If I am mentioning just colon means by default, this would be taking it as zero. It starts from zero. And uh, if I'm not mentioning in the right side of the colon means it will take the last value. It will print the Python for machine learning. Then in this example, it starts from 11. And if I didn't mention anything on the right side, by default, it will take till the last index. And same way, if I'm not mentioning any value to the left side, it will start from index 0 till 11, it will print. I'm just running it. You can see here, I didn't mention any value, so it printed the full string. Then from 11 till end, submission learning. 
from starting till 11 it is python 4. We will be in a scenario like we have to slice a few strings from a web page example transaction number credit card number and taking that value manipulating it as per our requirement. These are all the some scenarios we will face it in the python development at that time accessing the string will be more useful. Then comes the negative indexing this is one of the additional feature a python is having and it is very useful when you mention negative number this will start the count from right side to the left side if it is a normal way it starts with zero and if it is a negative indexing it will start with minus one from right minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five this is how it will access the string we will see with an another example for better clarity we created a string python for automation hope you know what is the syntax for that my string to within the square bracket we have to mention the index value if i mention minus one as per the above rule n will be displaying it run it n is displayed Similarly, can you guess what will be the output for minus 2 and minus 5? For minus 2, it will be O. For minus 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. It will be A. Just run it. We got O and A. We can use colon also. In this example, colon, you know very well. From 7th till the second last character. This is another way to slice it. 7, if I mention, it will start from F and uh, instead of counting it from left and mentioning a bigger value what you can do is you can directly mention minus 2 that is till this the value needs to be truncated just run it we got for automation the next topic is index out of range this is an error message we used to get when we access the values improperly we have two types of error one is index error another one is type error First one is index error. Index error means when we try to access a string which is not in the index limit. For example, here we have the string value python. You know what is the count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Till index 5 we can access it. Suppose if you mention 6 which is out of range and run it, you will get the error message index error string index out of range the next error is type error in the type error we must always remember while giving value inside the square bracket it must be integer if we give any other value other than integer like decimal points it will throw the type error same example i am trying to give 1.5 which is a float number when you run it you can see type error because string indices must be an integer so one best part about python is they give a very clear log for your failures just by seeing the log itself you can understand type of error and uh, in the second line it caused it and it also gives a solution also string indices must be an integer mostly in other programming language it will tell why it has failed but in python it will also suggest you some solution that's best part about python let's do a short recap you can find the materials in this link which i will be mentioning in the video description what is a string string is the sequence of character we can create a string using single code double quotes and triple quote in order to access the string we have to use the index value which starts from zero for accessing a single character we can mention the index number if you want to slice the string then we have to mention within the square bracket starting position colon and ending position then negative indexing start index from minus one from right to the left direction then comes the index out of range error we have two types of error one is index error another one is type error when you mention a value which is out of range you will get index error when you mention a floating number then you will get the type error the string is having many topics so i don't want to make a very lengthy video better we will split and read bit by bit thanks for watching happy learning